Uh, just a law. Welcome to the Friday Night Live show. What up? What up? What's the deal? Everything is good with us, man. I suppose everything is good with you. 2011, The Meanest Man Alive. Brand new album, solo album. Yes, 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 definitely. That's what's up. And what can we expect, man? We need to explore this album throughout the interview tonight and many more things. But first of all, let's deal with this brand new release. A lot of people and a lot of ears and eyes are on you for this one. The Meanest Man Alive. This has really got to keep up that excellent, superb standard that the Jedi Mind Tricks and, of course, Enemy Soul is all known for. Is it going to do that? Is it going to deliver as people expect? Is this going to be hardcore, banging, raw hip-hop from start to finish? Or can we hear many different sounds throughout this album? Talk to us about this brand new album, man. Oh, man, this is going to be that straight up boom bap stuff man like it's it's just going to be hip-hop at its finest you know what i mean like like lyrics beats it, it's going to be all that you know what i'm saying like I'm, re- I'm really like making sure that this project comes through like exactly how i want to execute it you know what i mean like if anyone could do it it's us you know what i mean like we're the ones that's been holding it down for a minute now, just independently on the underground scene, like Jedi Mind Tricks, you know, like we, we, we stuck with it, you know, like this is like what's in us. So this is what we, we plan to do. And you know what I mean? Like this, this release is real important to me. It's, it's like, I took my time with this, you know, it's like, I just wanted to make sure it came across as, as, as good as it could possibly be, you know, mm. this course. is my art here. Of course it is. It is your arm, man. And like you say, uh, this has got to be the best that it possibly can be. You can't let the team down, in, and nobody in your team can do this. Anybody from your team I'll be talking to, I'll be asking the same thing about the solo album. You know, there's a certain grade-A standard that's got to be achieved. Now, who's going to help you then with this, John? Who's going to help you achieve that album, uh, that goal? I mean, are we talking Stoop on the boards on this album? Is he up on here? Nah, Stoop's not on this one. You know, uh... I, I didn't go with Stu. I went with uh, my boy uh, C. Lance, who who's on the Vinnie Paz album. Stu Bangers, who's who's worked with a couple of Army of the Pharaohs dudes. You know, like Sick Nature, who we worked with in the past before. You know, a lot, a lot, a lot of the dudes that work on the Army of the Pharaohs stuff. They like the top dudes from from that. Like, you know what I mean? Like I'm pretty much just working with them to try to like mold this album together. Sounds like an excellent list, man. I love to hear Sick Nature's name being mentioned in the production of many different albums. We spoke to Snow Goons a couple of shows back, and I was really pleased to hear Sick Nature involved. Real underrated dude, I think, when it comes to not only his MC, but also his production as well. So I'm looking forward to that. But of course, if I spoke to you a couple of years ago, or two or three years ago, just after the Jedi Mind Tricks last album, and you said that Stoop wasn't involved with your new solo album, people would ask the question, why not? Why isn't Stoop involved? Uh, it's, it's not like, like a, like a, uh, a, a really like a big deal. You know what I mean? It's more of just like, uh, this album is more just natural for me. It's like the people that want to work with me the most. And you know what I mean? The people that I'm chilling at the bar with drinking with every night, you know, it's not like, like, uh, uh, I wanted to work with people that really were interested in the project. You know what I'm saying? Like, and these are the people that I kind of talk to on a normal, consistent basis. You know what I mean? It's not like I was, like, singling anyone out or anything like that. It's more of just, like, as the natural process of making music happens. You know what I mean? Like, this is just what happens. and It's just, like, things happen, you know? So hmm. uh, <laughs> we just pretty much move with what we got, you know? Like, But we got mad talented producers that's lined up you know a lot of the army of the pharaohs dudes are like you know what i mean the style is a little different and you know what i mean it, you you don't really want to uh get labeled with a certain sound you know what i mean like we kind of just want to keep raw hip-hop just be known for always being good at everything you know what i mean not just staying in one pocket you know what i mean Absolutely, man. Now, we spoke a little bit about the sonics and the production of the album. What about the, the, the words and the voices on the album? Who is guesting up on this joint? Who have we got from, from your team, from the family? And are there any features that people might not expect up on this new joint? You know, like uh, the guest list, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to keep that under wraps for right now. It's more of just like, it's going to be like just showcasing what I can do. You know what I mean? It, it's a... Like, if there's a guest, you know what I mean? It's just going to be one of the homies 
that was that was around or something like that. You know what I mean? Like I'm not really seeking out like to get like a big name or anybody like uh anybody that isn't really like family like on this part of the album you know what i mean like at this stage of my career like uh you know what i mean like uh we're still doing this 10 years later it's like we feel like uh the music is best made like organically you know what i mean with the people that's just in in your inner circle and around you and like just make it happen like that it's never like a a pre-planned like thing of yo we gotta get we gotta work with such and such you know what i mean like because if there's a, a rhyme any rhyme on the album i'm gonna have the hottest rhymes on my album you know what i mean like regardless it's not gonna be like anyone's gonna come out shine me on my own stuff so it's just kind of like i if i can write the verses myself i would rather do that than just have like someone on a, on a track just to be like, yo, I work with such and such, you know? Mm. Yeah, I understand that. Of course, man, this is your solo album. I mean, this is important to you. Uh, who have you, who have you been working with then so far in terms of making the album? Pretty much just staying in contact with the producers. I mentioned, you know, me and Stu Bangers, C Lance, Sick Nature. Like I'm pretty much just, it's just raw bones. You know what I mean? Like I got a couple I got a, a DJ I'm working with, you know what I mean? Like, we're going to come up with some, some kind of concept for it or whatever, you know. Everything is going to just, I'm just kind of taking my time to do this album, you know what I mean? It's more of just like, it's like, this isn't about, like, me trying to make money or, like, cash in on, like, the holiday season, you know what I mean? Or like, You know what I mean? It's about, like, my album, you know what I mean? It's it, It's more important than just, like, something i just want to put out there to get a quick dollar for you know what i mean this is going to be like something it, it's an it's a it's been a learning experience for me you know what i mean like it's going to help me grow as an artist you know it's more about that than anything to me mm. you know what i'm saying like the artistry is what matters you know what i mean like what has don't keep it real you know it's kind of like you see them they're just like a character of themselves or their formal selves you know what i mean like a lot of dudes we see on tour, you know what I mean? Like, it's like they're they're performing material that's maybe like tw- older than twenty years old, and th- that's their hottest stuff, you know what I mean? Like, hmm. we always want to be able to come up with new material and 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 still kill a crowd, you know what I mean? Like, we're not we've been an independent artist for from the beginning of our careers, so it's like we've never had like a major label pumping that one single into people's heads, you know, like mm. people who will know us, know Jedi Mind Tricks, they know like the catalog, they know my solo, you know what I mean? It's like they know paths of stuff. It's like they know a space, you know what I mean? Like they know all our stuff. It's it's more about that mm. than just like having like a hot single here and there and then just trying to ride off that success forever, you know? Mm, absolutely. You, you, the way you speak on the interview tonight is almost as if you, 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 you feel as though you're a little bit old school now. You sound like you're defending yourself a little bit. Do you, do you feel veterans now, the independent game? Oh, 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 um, you know, uh, not, not really. I mean, you know, it, it's, it's like the spots we have, you know, it's definitely deserved and we fought – for everything, you know what I mean? It, it's like, it's definitely not like we're like an overnight success, you know what I mean? Like, it's a lot of hard work that went into it. <clears throat> and I'm not trying to knock anyone else for, for what they've done, you know. But, you know, at, at, at the end of the day, it is like a competition thing, too, you know. So, it's, and I'm and I am, I'm a good, good competitor and competitive at the same time, you know. So, it's like, 